The purpose of this tutorial is to determine if the flip surf will fit your boat right out of the box, or if your boat requires shims to install the flip surf. If your boat has a straight hull on the side, it does not require shims. But if your boat has a step hull on the side, it might require shims to install the flip surf. You always want to try and install your flip surf so that the wedge is fully under the water when your ballasts are full and you are not moving. It is better to have your flip surf a few inches under the water than it is to have it a few inches out of the water. First, scan the on-screen QR code or click the link below to access our sizing template, which you will need to print. Or, if you already purchased a flip surf, you will find a template in the box printed on cardboard. In either case, you need to cut out the L-shaped sizing template by cutting along the dotted line. Once you have the sizing template cut out, place side B of the template against the step in the hull of the boat where the bracket is going to be installed. Side C should be as close to the hull as possible without touching the boat, and side A should be below the waterline. If the gap is larger than one inch, cut along the dotted line on side B between the large shim and small shim labels and place the template against the hull again. The gap should now measure less than one inch from the template. If it does, you need to purchase the small shims. For this boat, we are going to need to use the small shims. Once you receive the shims and the flip surf, we need to start by attaching the shims to the magnetic mounting bracket. Remove the liner from the bracket adhesive, then place the bracket on the shim with the angled front edge aligned with the angled front edge of the shim. Press down firmly on the bracket and repeat this for the next shim. Next, we need to identify where we are going to place the shims and bracket. The flip surf should be installed so the top edge is one to four inches below the waterline when the ballasts are full and the boat is not moving. Your flip surf can be installed so that it is lower than four inches underwater if the shape of the hull requires it be lower. The bracket needs to be placed on the step in the hull and should sit completely flat so all of the adhesive sticks to the boat. Here are some examples of incorrect placement of the bracket. Here is the correct placement of the bracket. Ideally, you want your bracket to be tilted 5 to 10 degrees downward. But this is not recommended if this requires the bracket to be placed on a non-flat portion of the hull. It is more important to have your flip surf be completely underwater than it is to have it at an angle. Now it is time to install the bracket and flip surf. First, clean off the location of the hull using the provided alcohol wipes, where you will be installing the bracket next. Peel off the adhesive liner on the shim. Then, place the bracket and shim on the identified location. Press firmly and repeat this process with the other shim and bracket on the other side of the hull. Make sure to wait at least 72 hours before submerging your boat to ensure the adhesive dries properly. The adhesive will reach 90% bond strength in the first 24 hours. That's it. If you have any other questions or concerns, visit our website.